Just after the news of the ban on second-hand clothes dropped, Ugandan public servants were hit with a new mandatory dress code. The new rules forbid the showing of cleavage, wearing nails longer than three centimeters or skirts above the knee, and dyed hair. The rules mostly affect women who often get paid less than their male counterparts. However, some feel the government is well within its rights. A woman in Uganda is looked at with a lot of dignity and respect. They are mothers now and future mothers. In the Ugandan community, we are not supposed to expose the thighs. You know, those parts are supposed to be covered. The breasts, they're supposed to be covered for a respectable woman. That is in the Ugandan society. And according to the Ministry of Public Service, these rules are nothing new. The ministry is just clarifying what, is, what, what already exists in the standing orders and the code of conduct. In the standing orders and the code of conduct, it is mentioned generally that uh, public officers must dress decently and in a manner that is generally acceptable in the Ugandan society. Women are also required to tone down makeup. Men were also given directives to wear trousers that are not too tight, jackets, a necktie, and closed shoes. The Ministry of Public Service says that those contravening the rules would be given a warning and repeat offenders would face a disciplinary action. What has been happening is that some civil servants have been putting on miniskirts. So that complaint came in. And of course, there are perceptions of Ugandans, okay? How do you perceive a public officer who comes in with red hair, you know, facing in the different directions, you know? Uh, so that is what we are trying to control. Outspoken Ugandan academic Stella Nyazi, who is currently on trial for cyber harassing President Yoweri Museveni, took to Facebook to protest the new guidelines. She says the country should not be distracted amid efforts to scrap a presidential age limit of 75 years, widely seen as a bid by Museveni, now 72, to seek a sixth term in office. Shonela Lupuana, CGTN.